Hello, how are you? Um, this is my first vlog as a 40 year old. Ah! Um, for anyone who doesn't know me, I'll basically, it was my 40th birthday yesterday and I had a Bollywood themed party. It was amazing. Um, always wanted to wear a sari and I did and it was brilliant. Um, I was quite overwhelmed with how many people turned up to my party to be honest with you. Um, Going back last year, I celebrated it with my then girlfriend, and that was it. Um, this year it was unbelievable. I had so many people turn up to wish me many happy returns. So, to all of you watching, thank you all. I had an amazing night, and I cherish all of your friendships very dearly. Um, so, what's been going on for me other than turning the big 4 0? Um, I did a interview on BBC Radio Solent on Monday, just gone. So Monday the 4th of February and yeah that was about being trans basically. Thank you Katie Martin Show because I think you did a really good job. Um, it was kind of weird because I went on with the whole idea of um, being the trans warrior and not in an aggressive way but kind of trying to put across the fact of how much we struggle and how difficult this, this um, journey can be at times and whilst I did touch on elements of that um, Katie was very clever because she made it personal, she made it about me and my story and um, I think that that was probably better because sometimes when you're trying to get a message across about a minority group I think if you can come across as um, with facts and figures and statistics it kind of bores people but certainly because she made it about the human side of the story then I think that would have touched more people um, she certainly seemed to have a bit of positive response anyway um, it was funny because I was leaving the studio um, it's really weird when you go in there because you can hear what's on the radio at the time so like the receptionists and stuff um, as I came out they were like saying oh well done and all this and I was like a bit thrown by it but then it was obviously because they'd heard what we'd said and, um, there was a a lady who phoned in as the, sh as the interview was going on and she said that well I'm 60 and I'm a woman and I've always liked men but if that's what makes her happy good on her <laughs> which I think is really funny <laughs> oh bless her um, yeah that was um, it was a really positive happy experience um, I'm glad I did it because hopefully I raised a little bit more awareness for us trans people um, I think they have about half a million listeners, Radio Solent, so if it made a difference for one person, then it was worth the effort of going. Um, and thank you to Debbie Martin for helping me, you know, be there in the first place. Um, other than that, what's been going on for me? It sounds boring, but I've just been really happy. Um, it's not boring at all. If you go back and look at my blogs, especially when I first moved down to Bournemouth, I literally had about two or three friends and I was really struggling and worrying and trying to throw myself into other people's social lives and it just wasn't happening. And then you look back at last night and it's like, it's blown me away. Um, so my advice to anyone who's trans and who's moved to a new town, if you're watching this or a new place or you're worried about starting a new and making friends you will you truly will you just have to keep going and have confidence and be nice and above all be happy and you will attract people into your life as your friends you will trust me um so things that i'm looking forward to i'm looking forward to um throw myself more in to everything that life throws my way and that sounds a bit bizarre I know and it's a bit general but um, I've set up a trans parent support network on Facebook it's a secret group if there's any trans parents who want to watch who want to join the group um, then by all means have a search for it but I am vetting members who apply to join because I have had some strange people ask to join and obviously I'm not going to do that let them um, but yeah that's been a positive that's happened in the last few weeks um, really I'm just trying to grab every opportunity that comes my way and 
to spread the word that we trans people are very normal. Um, and I've also made a decision, um, you know you come to, well we all come to stages in our lives where we kind of have a look at things and what we want to do with our lives and stuff. Um, I'm going to start a course to become a counsellor because I think that I'm a kind, considerate, caring person. Um, I also have empathy and therefore, um, yeah, it's something that I really want to do to help others through this. So I, uh, I'm going to start doing a course to become a counsellor. I'm really looking forward to it and it's kind of... It's weird because the more you go on this journey, the more you reflect and the more you look back and kind of, you know, how you are and what you do and the way you carry yourself and everything else, you're kind of developing a new person. You are. Um, you're kind of very much in the early stage. It's all about trying to fit in and like trying not to be read by red. If you don't know what that means, people watching, it's trying not, not people spot you and say, oh, that's a guy or that's a woman if you're transitioning the other way. Um, that it still happens a lot and people stare at me still I don't give a monkeys to be honest with you but um, you know once you get that you're kind of settling in and you're finding the person that you are and I have in lots of ways I've become a vegetarian and um, I'm making friendships but real friendships not fake ones I'd rather have like five really good friends than 80 people in my life who basically aren't worth the effort so yeah that's been really good um, to have made that decision. I kind of feel like I have a, a purpose and a cause now. So counselling and trans awareness. And I also still love my job very very much. So you know that'll be work alongside that. So yeah happy days. Um, That's pretty much it for now. Um, I hope you like the new hair as well. I've decided you know new age new hair. Um, kind of red I'd had for about four months anyway so it was due a change and people who've seen it so far think it suits me so I hope everyone likes it um, if anyone ever has any questions that they want to ask me or something you've always wanted to ask a trans person and you haven't for whatever reason as long as it's not too intrusive then by all means you know put some questions on my channel if you're watching this um, and I'll do my best to answer them um, and one other thing as well, I will keep saying this um, at times, I honestly thought my family would have contacted me yesterday and my cousin and my aunt who I'm in contact with did, the rest of them didn't. It really, the longer the time goes on the less I'm bothered by it because if they can't accept that I'm more happy now than I ever have been, it's their loss. It truly is because my friends and my family and they have offered me more support and kindness these last few months than I have received in a long long time so if you're watching and you want to get in touch it's up to you but it'll be on my terms now anyway because you kind of rejected me already so um yeah on that bombshell I'm gonna sign off and just say be true to yourself be happy um, because life is way too short and as soon as you are true to yourself you will wonder why the hell you never done it years ago so See you later, look after yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.